haven't checked in at all, but I'm in Manhattan now. I woke up too early this morning to do laundry so I'd have clothes to bring with me. But now I'm in my sister's apartment. Her boyfriend's here, and maybe he wants to say hi. I don't know. Hello. I am boyfriend. Not my boyfriend. Not, not, not You guys boyfriend. met my boyfriend. He doesn't know shit about books, apparently. We're listening to very strange music because Brock's trying to get us to go see these people. When you're in New York, you might as well live. It's nine o'clock at night here, but it's like eight o'clock at home. And I randomly ran into my cousin at the airport. He's from Florida and they were getting back from Japan. I will be waking up early to put on my costume for book con tomorrow. I didn't die on the way to the airport. I did not die at the airport or on my way to Catherine's house, apartment. All is good and well. The first night I was there, we went to go get pizza from a place called Artichoke, and I had delicious, delicious crab pizza. And then we went to Washington Square Park, which is right down the street from her apartment, and ate our pizza, and we stumbled across this thing where people were, they wrote their story down on a piece of paper, and you were able to read it. a magical grab bag box from Enchanted Bandits, who's one of my book box friends. And I got to meet them today. Um, rocket Fuel 2 ounce coffee sampler. Ooh. Oh, that's cute. It's a little raccoon on I, it. Well, rocket Raccoon from <gasps> Guardians of the Galaxy. I don't drink coffee, but you like coffee. Score! Cute. Um, in 900 years of time and space, I've never met anyone who was not important. This is from a book and Doctor I don't know. Doctor Who. Oh. oh, it is a TARDIS, okay. <laughs> sure, I'm not a part of that thing. But the bookish, or the Enchanted Phantom, they don't include books in their boxes, but they send you... Book themed things. No, it's just a fandom. Um, it's a different fandoms. Oh, good, I'm glad I got this because she's making a tea strainer. This is a, a tea strainer from Elisa oh. J Designs, who has made a lot of um, jewelry for my boxes, and she's secretly making, I'll have to edit this out, she's making a tea strainer for one of my boxes. Clever. So I'm glad. I have a million ideas, but they all point to certain death. Hitchhikers, solid. <laughs> what else is in here? A little promo thing for them. Madman with a box. So I probably got stuff from like a sci-fi Doctor Who themed. Ooh, this smells good. You wanna smell it? Yeah. Hmm, it's very different. It smells like it's like, it's like it's a fresh. It smells like an insert from like hmm. a like a Teen Vogue or something. Like, like you know, it like the like little fresh, clean, some kind of perfume. Yeah, almost. I like, like it. Cologne thing. Yeah, I'm glad I get to hang out with them again tomorrow. Hot mess express again, you guys. What I found out from BookCon is that I may be the world's worst vlogger. I kept forgetting to film stuff. I did take quite a few pictures, so I'll edit those into this as well. So this is gonna be a weird compilation of video and photos, and now I'm gonna show you all the stuff that I got from BookCon 2018. It was a great experience, and I was really glad that I got to go. I got a lot of stuff, so we're just gonna kind of go through it all. I had a lot of fun. I was in costume. The first day I was kind of like Aster and Blackbeak because it's kind of the best I could do with what I had since I had to travel all the way from Dallas to New York. 
I wasn't able to take a ton of stuff with me. So I kind of worked with what I had. My intention was to be Nina Zinnick, but it didn't really quite look that way. The second day, my friends and I, we found a CVS and I found temporary hair color spray. So I was able to spray paint my hair silver and I was Manon. The first day, my friend Nikki Allegretti was Aelin from the Thorn of Glass series. And then the second day, her friend Brittany joined us and they were together, Feyre and Resand. And that was so fun. We kept getting screamed at so that people, because people wanted to take photos. And it was just so fun. We got to hang out with a bunch of our bookish friends and just a ton of fun. So here's some of the stuff that I got. The first thing I'm going to show you is, this is called Haymans and it's by Nicoline Evans, Nicoline Evans. It is signed. She is an indie author and I am almost actually done with this book because I had to sit in the airport for four hours and then my flight was three and a half hours. So I was able to work my way through this book. This has one of the most interesting premises I've ever heard of. And I'm, as soon as I'm done with it, I'm going to film a video about this book. It's about a drug that has sort of created a apocalyptic epidemic in Russia. Um, so it's the story of a man trying to get his fiance pulled out of this addiction, but there's more than that. And it's just a very interesting story. Oh, and it came with, uh, it's got a sequel, which is called Haymanism, The Spread. So I've got the book plate for that. All of the book art stuff I've got, I'm going to put up on this wall over here. And then once that's more done, we'll do a tour of all the stuff in another video. If you want more information on the books I've read and stuff, I did start a new Tumblr. It's called Snicky Doodle, and it's got uh, books, beers, and bites. So it'll have stuff about books, about beer, and about food. But I've got, already got a non-spoiler review of Stalking Jack the Ripper up over there. The next thing I got was a sampler of Brian Sanderson's Skyward. I have nothing, I know nothing about this other than the back says Claim the Stars. The art's by Charlie Bowater, and it looks like it could be a girl resand, but it's just like a little mini sampler. I think it covers like the first two chapters is what it looks like. So I've not read anything Brian Sanderson, so this is a good way for me to give that a shot without getting too invested. But I think that this is a beautiful little, it's got a beautiful aesthetic. I think they handed out probably 15 or 20 arcs over the course of the weekend. I only grabbed two of them because I was busy doing other things and I did and I didn't want to wait around in lines to get arcs. Um, the first one I got was City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab. I've not actually read anything V.E. Schwab or Victoria Schwab or whatever you want to call her. So this is the arc, the unedited copy. I'm going to give this a go. I'm very excited for this. I've been meaning to get more into this author and I just have it. So this is a great opportunity for me to get a first peek. My friends and I waited in line for this one. We heard that it was dropping and two of them were very excited for it. So we went over and waited in line and I was like, sure, I'll take a free arc. The next arc that we got, we were actually, it was the end of book con and everybody was closing down. So they were just passing these out to people walking by. And it's, that's not what happened by Cody Keplinger. And from what I understand from reading the back of this, it kind of seems like it's going to be like one of us was lying. And since I really like that, I'm hoping that I really like this too. The next thing I got was Summoner, book one, uh, Novice by Taryn Matharu. I don't know what this is about. It just looked interesting. I grabbed it. Then the next book I got was Kaylin Keenan, Catching Stars, which is signed. I got to meet most of these authors because the majority of the books I bought were for indie authors. They were not through large publishing houses. So I did my best to sort of support those guys. This is, she described it as sort of Six of crows ash criminal who's on the run and just stuff happens, but it's very fantasy. So I'm gonna give this a shot. The next book I picked up was The Soul Stealer's War, book one the, of the first Mother's Fire a novel by W.L. Hoffman. This looks like it's going to be very high fantasy, sort of um, more adult version of the Fable Haven series that I keep recommending to you guys for middle grade. Um, so I'm excited to try this. This guy actually, his daughter wrote a book too, which was super cute. And again, this one is signed as well. Then I picked up When Dimple Met Rishi because so many people have really enjoyed this book. I've been meaning to pick it up anyway, so I might as well have gotten it while it was sort of on sale. Then this is, it's um, a Joseph A. Foreign High School 
school publication, A Mirror of Many Reflections. Each chapter is a different short story that their senior year literature class, everybody was required to write a short story and then they turned it into a book. I really wasn't that excited about this. The girl who was selling them at the table was very excited. So I picked it up. Um, I kind of got suckered into it, but I'm gonna read it. I don't know that it's gonna go that high on my TBR list because it's all going to be non-fantasy contemporary short stories, which is 100% not my style of reading. But I could not not support these little high school writers in their endeavors. And I think it's so cool that they got together and wrote a book. The next book that I got was Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Uh, the only reason to be quite honest that I bought this book is because I took some of the bath salts from our The Lit Love box science fiction Final Frontier May box that I had left over that were inspired by Lavana from the Lunar Chronicles and I wanted to give them to her since I had some left over but to get in the signing line you had to buy a book so I bought a copy of Heartless because I haven't tried it yet and since I've tried the Lunar Chronicles I didn't really want to buy a set of those um, so she did sign it for me it did get signed I know that Nikki Allegretti has read this and she really enjoyed it, so I figured I'd give it a shot and see if I can get a little more into this author. What I bought was Be Your Own Hashtag Goals by Kristen Martin. She had a table right next to my friends over at Enchanted Fandom, and so I was talking to her for a bit and I grabbed her this book. She had four other books there, but this is the one I was most interested in. I got some of the promo stuff for that book as well. Um, this is the trilogy that she's written and it's sort of like divergent and adult fantasy series, but it seems like it's gonna be really interesting and my friends picked up the whole set. This is the other book that she's written and it's called Shadow Crown, which is says it's perfect for fans of Sarah J Maas. So I will probably wind up picking up a copy of this eventually. For the books that I picked up during BookCon, although I did meet a lot of those indie authors and while I did not really pick up their books there, I will probably pick them up in the future because I just could only carry so many books and could only fit so many books back in my suitcase with me. The first example of an author that I, while I did not buy her book during BookCon, I fully intend to buy it now that I'm back home, and that is Sarah Francis. I picked up the the print that says, remember this, seek the truth once you find it, hold on to it, fight for it. Um, and this is from her book, oh, she signed it for me. This is from her book, The Isles, which is gonna be sort of like, what I imagine in my brain is that it's going to be sort of like lost but teenagers so it's going to be like the maze runner plus lost plus mis mystery it's a post-apocalyptic there are cyborgs and there are mutants and i'm very excited to give that a go but she was the cutest sweetest person and she had this she wrote a children's book about a thing called the wobot and he's my new best friend and he's adorable when i was standing in line to meet marissa meyer to give her those basalts i also got a poster of Renegades, which is, again, something I've not read, but this is a really beautiful poster. The people and characters on it really sort of intrigue me, so I may pick up that series from this poster alone. The next things that I got were both wearables. Out of Print was there with a booth, and I saw this shirt hanging up and realized that I had to have it because I forgot about this book series and how much I loved it when I was younger and that is Banicula. If you aren't familiar with this series, it's the cutest little middle grade series, and it's about a family that has pets, and I think they have a cat and a dog, and they adopted this bunny rabbit, and the cat and the dog are convinced that the bunny is a vampire. So this is just, it was, I saw it and I was like, I need that shirt, so I bought it. The next thing I bought, I bought these intending to wear them on the plane ride back home, but then I just didn't. And these were from the Lit Joy Crate booth, which is another bookish subscription service. And those girls were so sweet the whole time. I love them so much. They have these leggings that are mermaid and or dragon scales, whatever you're feeling, and they are so soft. My friend Nikki picked up a pair of these leggings on the first day because her Aelin costume required her to wear leather pants and they were super uncomfortable. She switched into a pair of Illyrian print leggings. Everything else I have is sort of promotional stuff and less, it's more book adjacent more than book oriented. But if you're interested in that, this is promo for books that are recently out or are coming out. This one may be, my little heart is what may be the most excited for this one. And, um, because I talk about this middle grade series all the time, the Fable Haven series by Brandon Mull, I saw that they're releasing another book. I didn't know that this was happening. So I saw the publishing table with this poster up and I was like, oh my God. And I ran over there and everybody thought like I was dying because I was just so excited. 
So I've got to do some more research into what this is and I'm going to get them because they're the cutest little middle grade series. So I'm very, this is Fablehaven Adventure Dragon Watch and this is for book two. So book one is already out and book two comes out later this year, I believe. So I'm very excited for this. And they also gave me some stickers. I have a book plate for Now We Rise, The Children of Blood and Bone. This is just a beautiful, pretty print that I just wanted for my wall. I still haven't read this book. I have the audiobook. I need to read it. This is my pass. It's got um, Queen of Air and Darkness on it from Cassandra Clare. I'm not that into Cassandra Clare, but I'm going to be rereading her books to see if I can get into them. And this is just a cool looking pass, so it's gonna go on the wall. Then I have this. I did not actually get this on purpose because Nikki Allegretti is friends with the people behind the Enchanted Fandom box. And so now I sort of was kind of became their friend this weekend. They were doing a spin the wheel type thing and people were given different prizes based on what they spun. And one girl was standing in line and she won a free print and she didn't recognize who the people were from. And we were explaining to her we're like, oh, this is who this is, and you should go read this series, it's definitely really good. But she didn't know who the people were, so she wasn't interested in it. So now I have this pretty Roelinian, Ro Ro however you say their ship name, this really beautiful print. It's by Sh Sarah Shrupp. And I spun their wheel and I got a little gift card that I think I checked it and it was $5. So I'm gonna use this to buy stuff. Uh, this is their promo card. Their, their whole theme is no fandom left behind. Each month has a different theme. They don't actually include books in their boxes. It's all goody stuff, but I saw their boxes and they're just like jam packed. So if you are not necessarily in the market for some books, but you love some fandom, like art, they had like socks and jewelry and one box had a movie and prints and they just have really neat stuff in their boxes. So if you are more of a stuff person, you should definitely try out their box is a book plate for The Golden Bones by Lexi Brady. This book seems really, really interesting. It's got hints of the Persephone story in it. I wasn't able to actually pick up a copy of this book because her, her printer was late getting her the books, so she wasn't able to take her books, which annoyed, I think, probably everybody. Uh, I was annoyed for her, but I got a book plate, which it just, it, this looks so neat. I'm very excited to, to get a copy of this and read it. One of the people I was very excited to run into was the people behind Bookish Boutique Co, who, if you don't know, has supplied bookmarks for a bunch of the Lit Love boxes, and I got her hashtag BookCon 2018 bookmark, and I got to meet her in person, which is really exciting because she is making some more bookmarks for the Lit Love, for an upcoming Lit Love box, and I'm very excited to have gotten to see her in person. Another person I was very excited to have met is uh, Shannon, whom her last name is pronounced Zuin. She is the most adorable little character artist. I will put her Instagram and everything down below. You guys need to go follow her. Her stuff is amazing. Um, she showed us some of her pieces and it was just very, very exciting. Oh, Nikki Allegretti was also a, she is a rep for Fox and Wit. She sent little illustration cards with Nikki to pass out and I got one and I got a little baby over sand. He's so cute. Our friend Brittany also picked up a grab bag box and she's not very into candles. I don't think, or maybe I just really liked this candle and she was very nice and gave it to me. I don't remember why I wound up with this candle. Ah, uh, aftershave inspired by Home Alone. Little Mouse bookshelf. It's got glitter and it smells very good. And somehow I wound up with this and I don't remember if it's because she doesn't like candles or I just liked it a lot. And she was nice and gave it to me. And then my last candle is from Stay Wicked. These girls were walking around to all of the book box booths and handing out candles as a sample for people who may want to be interested in putting their candles in a box. And they gave one to Enchanted Fandom while I was standing there and I said, hey, I also have a box and I'm always looking for new suppliers, especially ones that actually care and send you your stuff when you've ordered it, which is an issue I've been having lately. No tea, no shade. But I now have a running list of people I will never order from again. <laughs> and I don't know what smell this is. I think it's probably apple, but it's bright green and it's glittery and it's, it smells so good. And I just, I love their branding and their packaging. So keep an eye out. These guys are definitely gonna wind up in a box some way, somehow. And then the next is just the obscene amount of pins I was given. I have this cute one from Lit, I have this cute one from Lit Joy Crate. Right, I got an L Crate. It's very hard to pick these things up with my Manon Black Beak 
style clog. These are very hard to operate just in life with. I have this other owl crate pen that says fiction addiction. Another owl crate pen that says chapter raptor. Another owl crate. Owl crate just had a bunch of pens out and they said take whatever you wanted. So I got a bunch of them. And it's a little dinosaur that says, I'm basically a thesaurus. Another owl crate pin that says, I like books. An enchanted fandoms pin. I like this one because it's square and that's different. And then another last owl crate pin that says Liter literary invertebrae. And it's got a little worm on it. Okay, I think that's it. And then the rest of everything that I got were just like promotional bookmarks uh, for books that I showed you or books that I'm interested in or business cards because there was a great way to network with vendors and other authors and things that I can use for the lit love boxes. Um, so you guys aren't interested in that. And if you were, I'm gonna keep it a secret because it's going to be a surprise. With that, you can still buy a June Unsung Heroes box. Those are slightly delayed because I'm still waiting on the books to arrive. The July Beach Read box is available for order now. That is, the theme of that is it's going to be a staycation in a box. There's all sorts of, there'll be some really neat stuff in there as well. And it'll be a cute, happy, fluffy, contemporary read instead of something dark, gritty, and morbid. Anybody that I was super interested in, I will put their social media links down below. Until next week, we'll read all the books and be best friends. Bye, guys.